In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down probably the best Madden player of the modern era and one of the best Madden players of all time, and that's Skimbo. And we're going to talk about his gun bunch offense and why, in my opinion, he might be one of the best offensive minds to ever play Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you improve in Madden 20 and ultimately in Madden 21. And today we're going to be looking at a tournament gameplay between probably the best defensive player of Madden 20 and Joke and one of the better offenses uh, really of all time in Skimbo. And it really comes down to the fact that his execution was just so good. This is a club championship game and Joke's going to end up winning this game. But we're going to talk about kind of the cat and mouse game that they were playing. Here you see Skimbo's won over $295,000 playing Madden 20 or playing Madden in his career um, offense is, is really up there. And he came to the club championship with a specific scheme that in my opinion at the time was very difficult to guard. And we're going to talk a little bit about how joke adjusted to it, but also we're going to talk kind of about Skimbo is a robot. Everything that he does, he does on purpose. He does like over and over again. He's an example of someone that, has mastered one kick, you know, 1,000 times. And so here's Joke, a really good player. This was before he won his cha championship here this in the Madam Bowl. But you see, still really respected, over $130,000 in career earnings. He does not play the ladders a lot. Um, Joke is more of a, I think Joke is more of kind of a lab player, more of a head-to-head, -head, uh, kind of more of a tournament, you know, money game type of player. But anyway, let's jump into this game here. So, we're just going to watch the offense. Um, I'm not going to talk about joke on, on offense um, just because of the fact that he is going to be, um, whoops, I'm sorry. We're, we're getting a little bit ahead of us here. He is going to be running that Lamar Jackson and be honest um, jokes offense in this game was really good, but what I want to focus on is his defense, but Skimbo gets an early stop and let's see let's go back here so he's going to force and three he's going to get the stop here and we'll jump into this so skim is going to be in shotgun bunch he's in the west coast playbook and what you're going to see is he's got a couple of specific plays that's really good deep corner is his favorite play um, or at least the one that he ran the most and we're going to talk about that best post was kind of his red zone play that he used inside the inside the 20 inside the 15 yard line and here we're going to see his offense so gun bunch now he's going to open up with the play verticals he's got little route apprentice here on on marvin harrison but you're going to see this wheel route up the seam this is a pop or thing one of the other things the sumo did a lot is max protects so he always pretty much always will block his tight end as running back normally his tight ends on a delayed fade but he'll you'll see the pressure is going to come in off here pressure going to come in off here now what you're going to see is you're going to have the the, the route here to harrison he's going to go on a little post and hester's going to go on a little crossing little drag and tyra kill is going to go on the deep vertical now this is all about route combinations so it's, Joke here is in this dime. I think he's in the 2-3-6, and he's sending the DB fire 2 pressure off the left edge. Now, at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to see standard cover 2. They get a cross man here, and Skimbo um, was so close to fitting that ball in, and that was a really hot read against cover 2. And I think, you know, Skimbo kind of had prepared. Knew he was going to see DB fire. That's kind of why he went to that route combination here. Now, now you're seeing this is wide receiver post. He's got the corner right there in Marvin Harrison. Now he's audible in the deep corner. Now from deep corner here, you're going to see doing a little bit of a motion here just to kind of set some things up. Comes back across, and you've got the delay fade the back here, and now you're going to see Skimbo. This is the bread and butter play that he runs. So he's either going to hit this dig or he's going to hit the corner route. The key to Skimbo's offense is his ability to roll out, but you see here with that pressure, he can't roll out from joke. And so he's having to throw it away. Now, this was a key cat and mouse game because if you watch Skimbo, when he got out of the pocket, I don't know what the numbers are, but I would sit, venture to say he probably completed about 90% of his passes whenever we got out of the pocket. So Joke, Joke mentally was trying to keep Skimbo in the pocket. If he got out of the pocket, he's going to hit this route or this route. So snap of the ball here, you're going to see it again. And because of the pressure that Joke's sending off this right edge it's kind of it'll it'll kind of prevent skimbo from getting into the pocket and you'll see why this is a big issue there's that containing case stays wide skimbo this time stays in the pocket and is able to step up and hit that deep in route for a big game 
So here you should see uh, either mesh post or deep corner. And this was mesh post, and he just streaked him. But there he's going to hit that little flat route. And I didn't really like that play call, to be honest. It just wasn't, it just wasn't what Skimbo runs. You know, part of this, I think, the counter adjustment to what Joke was doing was part of it. But if you watch what Joke does defensively, he's going to do DB Fire 2, but he's going to do a lot of different adjustments. He's going to open it up. He's going to cross man. He's going to user. So his user is going to hang on this right side of the field. Now, here you see there's mesh post. Now, if you watch, he's going to flip it. You see he's got the out route here. He's got the flat route here. And then he's either going to hit Logan or he's going to hit the post route, depending on Joke's user. Joke's user is going to the running back route. So right there, he was about to throw that post route, but Joke was able to get the pressure in off that edge and, and get that stop. All right, so third and 10 here. And you're going to see going back to deep corner, he's going with this max protect setup. And now you see he, he gets out of the pocket, but Joke makes a phenomenal user play and is able to come in and blow it up. And Skimbo has to take his three on that one. All right, we'll jump ahead here. So next drive, Joke is going to, I think he stalls again. So here, yeah, second and six. And he's going to throw a pick. See, this is one of the issues with Joke, is my opinion. Just not his offense. He's If he would have just ran Lamar Jackson, I think he would have done better. Um, and he ultimately ended up winning the Madden Bowl this year without having to throw a pass. He's just not a good passer. So here, Skimbo's motioning on that wide receiver pose, and I just didn't like this play call. I, you don't see Skimbo run that a lot, and I think he's just trying to find something because his his main thing's been taken away. His corner route, his rollout corner has been taken away, and Joke's been doing a great job. And that's kind of part of what you know. every good defensive player is going to be able to take away your best play. And Skimbo's best play is deep corner. So what is the counter? That's what we're going to kind of find out here in this in this game. So he's going to go to verticals, and I like I really like this call if he stays with it. But he's just going to simple verticals. Now one of the mistakes he makes here is he thinks he's got Hester, and he's going with a he's got it says he has plus one speed there. So in Madden 20, it, you need a little bit more speed than that. But he's going to try to hit Hester over the top. But the problem is Deion Sanders is going to bail and he's going to go right with him. And if you watch here. Here's a cross man, right? So on the right side, Joke is running a standard cover two look, right? With the cross man, the vertical hook, and he's just taking the deep safety away. And he's saying, Deion Sanders, you're going to shut that die, shut that guy down. And as you can see here, it's literally going to happen. Skimbo has nothing. He lobs it over the top, and Deion Sanders gets the pick. And he just you can't burn Deion Sanders. That's just one of those things. So we'll jump ahead here. But in my opinion, that was just a terrible... I think Skimbo regrets that decision. I think he thought he had that plus one speed advantage, but it look, looking back, I think Dion's uh, Dion's ability and Joke goes down and gets seven. So now Skimbo's got a minute thirty two on the clock. He's got to get, in my opinion, he's got to get uh, on the board. It doesn't have to be seven because he gets the ball at half. So there's not a lot of pressure on Skimbo right here, but he, I think it would be great for him to get on the board. So anyway, we'll jump in here. So here he goes with his deep corner. There's the cover three beater. Nothing there. He does a phenomenal job of that delay tight end fade out of the backfield. That was one of his favorite routes. Basically, what happened is once he'd pick up the pressure, he'd roll out of the pocket. And once he got out of the pocket, he'd release the fade. And the fade would get in such a tender spot on the defense. So Skimbo should be going to verticals here. He's going to put this guy to post. and looks like he's going to check out of it. If you watch, I think the defense from Joke is basically the same every single time. Let's see what he does here. Skimbo setting up his pressure or his protection on this two three six, and now if you look at the see here, you've got the one on one here, right? Here's the cross man. So this guy right here is cross manning, and then I think Joke's just running a simple bail. Yep. So he's cross manned uh, for deep corner, and you see you've got this zig standing wide open, but uh, Skimbo's just trying to force that deep corner beater. He had the po he had the the comeback route and he had the zig wide open. So that's an example I think of Skimbo just being a little bit of a robot and just running um, running his plays. And he does a good job of throwing the ball away when there's nothing there though. And I do like that. But I I would say have a little bit more of a progression. I think he had that that zig. He had some of those things. But again, this is all happening really really fast. So you sympathize, but. Now here, look, you're going to see here, same exact setup. Joke's running the same defense every time. This guy's manned up. This guy's cross-manned on to B. 
right here, and then he's going to basically lurk lurk on, on that guy right there. So you see there's the crossman and there's nothing. So good defense from Joke. So now you've got third and ten. And this is a big down. I think Skimbo's going to go to deep corner. And that's the play he wanted to run. Deep corner is the play he wanted to run all game. But I think I think Jokes keeping him in the pocket uh, really hurt him. But here you're going to see. So he's throwing the streak out there. And if Skimbo's smart, he'll stay in the pocket. Jokes set a pressure off both edges here. So we get the max protect. On this right here, we should get a max protect. We got the delay fade, got the ID, and now let's see. Oh, he's gonna joke's gonna take a timeout. What I would have liked to see is him because that cross man's gonna happen on a B. So to me, like something like a corner strike call would be good, or so, you know something like that. But we'll see what happens here. See what joke goes to on this third. This is a big third down right here. <sighs> Skimbo should go to deep corner. See you setting up here. He's going to throw that streak out there. What that streak's going to do is it's going to pull those deep blue defenders. It should open that window up for Harrison. So here, snap of the ball. Joke doesn't blitz. Skimbo gets out of the pocket. And in my opinion, that's a big mistake by Joke. You had Skimbo flustered when he couldn't get out of the pocket. You stop sending the pressure. This is a big, 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 big pivotal movement. You're going to see something right here with Joke's defense. And this is, I just think this is Joke overthinking it a little bit. But you're going to see... You're going to see, when Joke lets Skimbo get out of the pocket, Skimbo's going to burn him every single time. If this guy right here does not blitz, Skimbo's going. Snap the ball here. He can get out. And he's going to check down to the to the drag, which is a really good check down read there. And you'll see it again here. So here, sec watch this. Watch this defender. Watch this defender. Snap of the ball. If he blitzes, Skimbo can't get out. He backs him off. You get the double team. Skimbo can get out of the pocket, and he's going to hit a dime over there in Marvin Harrison. You see, when when Joke doesn't blitz that guy off the edge, Skimbo can dot him every single time. Mesh post. This is Skimbo's favorite goal line play. Smart routes Marvin Harrison, and he's going right or left. So here, Bullock there, and you've got the running back in the back of the end zone, and that's a huge drive from Skimbo. And you see, Skimbo has mastered one kick a thousand times. He understands. He understands exactly what's going to be open. Joke's user has. Joke is anticipating him running all these other plays or whatever, and Skimbo's running his simple, simple, simple plays. He's just executing. He's just executing. So um, I think we're going into halftime here. So Skimbo's coming out. He's got the ball first and 10, and he's up by three up by three points. If Skimbo could go down here and get seven, it is huge. It is huge. So now he's flipped a bunch. I don't know why he flipped a bunch here. I think it was to try to get that crossing route across. But I want to see Skimbo just keep going to deep corner. Deep corner is such a difficult play to stop. And if you watch, Joke's defense has completely shifted. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why he shifts it, but this guy right here, if this guy on the edge does not blitz, Skimbo has a dot. He has a way out of the pocket, and he can hit these corner routes. See here, he's flipping the bunch. This is smart. He's going right back to deep corner. He should block the tight end. There you go. And watch this guy off the edge. If he blitzes, if this guy blitzes off the edge, he's going to be able to throw the corner out, or he's going to be able to hit that dig. He doesn't blitz. Watch. Skimbo's going. And now he's the other guy. He's got one or the other, and he can take off with luck. In my opinion, joke... In my opinion, Joke's biggest biggest mistake so far is not sending that pressure off that right edge. Because of how powerful the rollout is and how much that is in Skimbo's offense, you have to, have to, at all costs, contain the quarterback. And with the way the bunch formation is aligned, it's Skimbo's wanting to hit a rollout corner on the bunch side, the tight end blocking you know, you should be able to just by blitzing two people off that side, you should be able to get it. So here, he should flip the bunch. Normally, he'll flip the bunch to the wide side of the field, but yep, there it is. And you'll see, you should see deep corner here again. Now, right here, I would like to see a Tyreek Hill dot over top because I think Deion Sanders is on that side. Now, you see here, Joke goes to 3-4 Bear, completely different defense. And I think, let's see, and, and Skimbo ends up calling a timeout. That's the first time Joke's gone to 3-4 Bear in the entire game, and it completely changes everything because Joke was in 2-3-6 every single play. Now he comes into 3-4 Bear. He's pressing on the outside. I would hit him. I would try to burn him deep with De Devin Hester here. 
I would, because you can tell he's baseline and press. If you motion Tyreek Hill out and you put him on a streak, I think that's a touchdown. But anyway, here, Skimbo's motioning across. He should come back across, and I think he's going to go back to a standard deep corner setup. Now, Joke's showing, showing seven-man pressure. He's showing seven-man pressure. This is the Mills defense that we all love. But you see here, he only blitzes three, comes out of it, and Skimbo's going to hit that late read and just completely blows it. I don't know what he did on that, but... His uh, that was a first down, and that was a big miss. All right, so second and ten, same thing. Jokes a three-four bear again. Now again, Jokes not sending heat. He's blocking. He's, he's taking three out. This is just simple match defense, and you see here it completely boxes everything. And again, in my opinion, with the alignment of the players, if Skimba would have ran corner strike or he would have ran something with a streak up the seam. That is a, a huge adjustment, and, and that's where Skimbo is kind of a little bit of a robot. He's going to run the same thing. Now, again, he's going to out-execute everybody, but my opinion right here. So now you see in this third down to 10, he goes back to 2-3-6. Goes back to 2-3-6. He should send pressure off this edge. If he doesn't send pressure off the edge, Marvin Harrison's going to be wide open with, with a rollout corner. Snap of the ball. He should block eight. Yep. Joke sends the goons at him, and he's got this right here, and this is a phenomenal read. And Skimbo just did a good job of hitting Joke when Joke sent all the heat. I think he actually sent uh, Dime 1 for 6 pressure at him with the 7 man, but um, or 6 man pressure. But that was a huge, huge dot. So first and 10 now, here you see Joke goes to 3-4 bear. Now, Joke's not sending any pressure out of 3-4 bear. So this, this beater right here, these crossers, it, it's it's match coverage, so the crossers aren't going to have any success here. Skimbo's block at eight. Joke's blitz at three. And you see he's still able to because he gets out of the pocket, hit Marvin Harrison, but he actually, he got a, a bad uh, rollout there and was was across the line of scrimmage. Joke comes back out in 2-3-6 now, and you see it's kind of confusing. It's, it's, it's kind of confusing Skimbo with Joke going to these multiple defensive looks here. But you'll see here, should be able to hit this in route, and he's able to get out of the pocket with luck and hit that tight end delay fade. And it's a nice dot there. He had, Skimbo had two or three players wide open on that one. He could have just ran with luck, too. But you see the cat and mouse game of the drive. And you see how there's so many things that are happening. When Joe comes out in 3-4, he's going max coverage defense every single time. And so if I'm Skimbo and I'm block, you're blocking eight people against 3-4 Bear. Now, I understand that 3-4 Bear is a formation that can get a lot of pressure. But Joe's gone to it like three times. He really... Wants to be in this 2-3-6, and you'll see here now, watch watch this guy. This is the key to the whole defense. If this guy right here drops into coverage, Joke's screwed. He's not going to be able to contain Andrew Luck out of the pocket. So have Hester's coming this way. You see no blitz. He likes to come out of the pocket, and he should be able to hit that corner route right there. And I think as this is where he misses like three corner routes in a row, but it's wide open. And I would have liked to see Skimbo click on... All right, second and ten, same thing. If this guy doesn't blitz, the corner route is wide open. Let's watch this. Joke showing cover two. He's going to cross man this guy on B. Motion across. Here you see it. You've got him manned up. He's wide open and throws it, and Marvin Harrison drops it. It's another critical loss, and Skimbo's starting to get a little irritated. But in my opinion, Joke should have never stopped blitzing this guy off the edge. Him blitzing that guy off the edge was the key to the whole defense. Um, and you'll see it come back here later on in the game. So here, bring the safeties up. I'd like to see a streak, but he gets that, and he should hit him right here. He had him wide open, but Skimmo's going to take a, take his three and just shut it down. So Joke does end up getting the stop there. Goes to a good max coverage defense late. And this is where Joke really, in my opinion, Joke takes the game over on offense. He runs QB blast pretty much every single play. And um, this is just, I mean, QB Blast is still, in my opinion, the best run of the game because you can run it three different directions. Uh, and you can play on conservative and still be effective from it. So, anyway, so Joke goes down, gets a touchdown. So, now, this is this is the biggest drive of the game. You got one minute 37. And in my, if I'm Skimbo, this is where I want to be. I got a minute 37. I've got timeouts. I got two timeouts. And I literally, this is where I'm going to go win the game. Now, in Madden 20, it's a little bit more challenging because of the runoff. But this is where you run the game, and this is where things are going to go. Now you see what happens. Chips are on the line. Joke's blitzing this guy off the edge. Now watch what happens. He goes to the vertical setup, and he takes a huge sack. Huge sack. Skimbo goes to something. He hasn't ran much. He goes to his vertical play. doesn't stay in deep corner. And you see Joke just scream at him there 
out of that out of that shotgun bunch. So same thing. Watch this corner. If the corner does not blitz, joke's screwed. If the corner blitzes, joke's got a dot or uh, uh, joke's got a box. So same setup here. Skimbo's setting the defense up. Watch this guy's going to be cross man on B. This guy's one on one. Snap of the ball. You'll see this guy comes all the way across. Yep. And then you got that right there. He takes off with luck there. Gets out of the pocket. And that's a little bit of a risky play. And Joke's really wanting to fumble because Joke thinks he has him. And he, he does. And honestly, in all honesty, Joke has him. Joke has the setup to stop this. This guy blitzes off the edge. Joke's got it every single time. So you watch here. Again, a little bit of a little bit of pass pro setup. And I'm not sure I like the pass pro setup that he's running here. But you see, there's the blitz off the edge. And this is a big dot. But Joke comes over, makes a huge play with his user, blows it up. And now we've got, I think, a fourth and fourth and nine. Um, and so you see here, Joke is feeling really good on defense. And he knows, and I think he knows now, he's not not blitzing this guy. If this guy does not blitz, Joke's going to get dotted. I think he's starting to see that later on in the game here. Skimmo setting the max protection up. You've got this guy here. And I'd like to see Tyree kill on like a comeback or an out route because he's sitting in that man-to-man -man coverage. But you'll see here, and this is a huge dot. And there it is. Ball game. Joke's able to capture it. You saw, this is the thing I want you to see. When the chips are down, it's fourth and nine. You got to get a stop. Skimbo runs the same setup that he's been running from deep corner. It's his money play. It's his bat power play. And you see right here, this right here is what one joke the game. Skimbo can't roll out. If he can't roll out, he can't hit the corner route. So, Joke leaves the vert hook. He's got to man him up here. And you're going to see it's going to, this in route will get open. It's just going to get open at a specific point in time. And watch, this is a great lurk by Joke. He's able to jump off the corner route, come back on the in route. So, Skimbo can't throw this. This is now wide open. RB is wide open, but Skimbo is eyes. His eyes have jumped from the corner route to the in route. Now it's got to jump back here. And you see Skimbo hits him, but he hits him so late in the play. So late in the play, and Joke does a phenomenal job of usering back, and all of this happens in the span of about four seconds. So you see, just amazing, amazing defense. And what's crazy to me, if you go back, if you go back early in the game, right here, you'll see that Joke figured it out early, early on in the game. Let me see if I can find that play. Um, watch this right here. This is a play for the first quarter, right? Second and ten. Watch this guy. Blitz is off the edge. Skimbo can't roll out, and that's the defense. That's the defense, and that defense, that same defense on the last play of the game ends up working well for Joke. When Joke did not blitz off the edge, Skimbo rolled out and hit him every single time. Joke's ability to adjust, to shut down Skimbo's power play, and in my opinion, Skimbo's lack of an ability to beat Joke from the pocket caused him to walk away and get boxed on that fourth and nine. So really phenomenal game. All shout-outs to Skimbo and Joke. Both of them far better Madden players than I am. Both of them want a lot more money than I have playing this game. But I think something we can all learn from this, when your power play is shut down, you've got to have that one thing that you can do that can complement what they're going to do uh, against you. Thank you so much for watching this game. If you're new to the channel, I hope this video helped you get a little bit better at Madden. We do these film studies once every now and then to talk a little bit about kind of the higher level of Madden and what you could do to become great. And I hope this helped you. If it did, my number is in the description. What I want you to do is I want you to shoot me a text, and I just want you to let me know your first name, and I want you to ask for a Discord link, and I'll shoot you back with a Discord link. And then you can have my number. We can talk Madden there anytime. But also the Discord is such a cool tool because that's where we can all talk Madden together. You can get game in there you can do all sorts of stuff and once we get a hundred people in that discord server i'll be releasing my free offensive ebook and my free defensive ebook to only those discord members so thanks for watching guys and we will see you guys in the next video